Hi there, it's Shamak MD. It's summertime, the time when and if we have kids, we go out to the pool. We think we are all doing great by putting sunscreen on ourselves and our kids before getting out there. Well, here's some research to double think this. Research places sunscreen firmly on the list of products that can do more harm than good. As scientists have discovered the destructive effects of chlorine in swimming pools on sunscreen. Researchers from Lomonoskov Moscow State University have found that aval benzene, which is the world's most popular active sunscreen ingredient, breaks down into something very toxic upon mixing with wet skin, UV radiation, and the chlorinated water. In effect, sunscreen mixing with swimming pools. This breaks down into phenols and acetylbenzenes, which are toxic. The chemicals have been linked to problems like immune system damage, infertility, and cancer. In swimming pools that use copper salts to make the water look blue, this reaction is even worse. In that case, the sunscreen can break down into bromoform, a substance that has been linked to nervous system disorders, liver problems, and kidney problems. But back to avobenzene, which again is the most popular common ingredient in conventional sunscreens. In addition to sunscreens, avobenzene can be found often in moisturizers, creams, and lipsticks, all of those items that also offer SPF protection. So should we avoid this? Well, I think why risk it as we know it can degrade into harmful substances, which are known to be cancer forming. Also, be mindful of using sunscreen on young children who might unknowingly ingest the chemicals, for example, by licking their arms after swimming. Here I highlight a few natural alternatives. The first, carrot seed oil. Carrot seed contains a high amount of vitamin A and beta carotene. Both of these ingredients are antioxidants, nutrients that shield the skin from oxidative particles known as free radicals. Carrot seed has a natural SPF of 38 to 40. In addition, it has antiseptic properties which help prevent and heal infection, and it also helps with skin irritation and helps to rejuvenate the skin. Just extra benefits. The second is coconut oil. Coconut oil is high in antioxidants to help to prevent burning and oxidative damage. It can make a great base for homemade sunscreens. Also, it makes for a great skin moisturizer. The third is red raspberry seed oil. Red raspberry seed oil has a natural SPF of 28 to 50 and is one of the only natural oils that protects against both UVA and UVB rays. In fact, the SPF of red raspberry seed oil has been found to be equal to that of titanium dioxide, an ingredient commonly used in commercial sunscreens. It is high in antioxidants and has anti-inflammatory effect. It can also reduce the pain and inflammation associated with sunburn. Also, it's been found to make abnormal skin cells self-terminate, essentially stopping the potential tumors and cancers from getting established, so it has the extra benefit. The fourth is sesame seed oil. Sesame oil can block out approximately 30% of the sun's rays. So start applying sesame oil to protect your skin from UV rays. The fifth one is aloe vera gel. It's one of the most common and natural alternative sunscreen. It's found that aloe vera gel helps in blocking around 20% of UV rays of the sun. So these are some great natural alternatives. You can play around with them. You can mix them. Um, they're also filled with many other nutrients in addition to being a natural sunscreen. 
Another way to protect your skin during the summer months is through dietary changes. There are some necessary nutrients that we can consume that help to protect our skin. Having good antioxidants in the diet can help with natural sunburn resistance. So consume foods that are high in antioxidants like vitamin C found in many fruits and vitamin E found in nuts and seeds. Vitamin A is very interesting. Studies have found that vitamin A has an adaptive response to UV exposure. It can prevent skin cancer and aging related sun exposure. So increasing vitamin A is a great way to help protect the skin over the summer months. And then we have the anti-inflammatory diet. A large part of natural sun protection is eating an anti-inflammatory diet to protect ourselves from the inside out. So avoid inflammatory foods such as processed foods, eating and consuming vegetable oils, high acidic grains, and sugars. Then increase your healthy saturated fats such as foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Eat a lot of leafy greens and vegetables. Another thing you can do is supplement. Supplement again to heal yourself and protect yourself from the inside out. Magnesium is good for so many body functions. If you find yourself squinting or requiring sunglasses on sunny days, this is a symptom of low magnesium. Low magnesium, a symptom of low magnesium is increased sun sensitivity when you, your eyes are sensitive to the sun. So consider adding magnesium to your nutrition plan. At KMD, we have a hair skin nails formula filled with natural herbs to nourish the skin from the inside out. These include amla, holy basil, shishandra, shatvari root, kelp, gotokola, moringa seed, alfalfa, and more. You can check out this formula. I'll put the link below in the video, a link down below and also on the video so you can check that out. So here's an idea. If you'll just be outside for a short time, say 15 to 20 minutes outdoors, you might want to consider foregoing sunscreen altogether. 15 to 20 minutes is all it takes to help most people's bodies produce an adequate amount of vitamin D, which can help protect against many types of cancers. It can also help to reverse vitamin D deficiency, which is extremely common with most of us. And it's been linked to diabetes, cancer, kidney disease, heart disease, obesity, and depression. So, sunscreen actually blocks your skin's production of vitamin D, making any vitamin D deficiency worse. So, if you'll be outdoors for a long time, you should still protect your skin, but you might want to first allow yourself some unprotected exposure so you can boost your body's vitamin D production. So what are some take-home points? Avoid conventional sunscreens, especially when you're out in swimming pools. Instead, opt for natural-based sunscreens with very clean ingredients. So as the summer starts, we are bombarded with marketing of chemical-based sunscreens. You see them on ads everywhere. I hope I've made you aware of the potential dangers of these products, especially in swimming pools. And hopefully I've provided you with some insight into natural alternatives that can help decrease the risk of burning, yet still absorb necessary nutrients that require sun exposure. Remember, you can always limit your exposure to the sun and prevent burning by covering up during the peak sunburn hours of 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you will be out during these peak hours, wear rimmed hats, long sleeve swim shirts, and bathing suit cover-ups. And if you're going to be out in the sun for short intervals, try foregoing the sunscreen. So I know it's disappointing to learn that something that is supposed to protect you can actually have the opposite effect. But it's important to be aware of these situations so you don't have a false sense of security. Many sunscreens contain toxic chemicals, and now it appears that swimming pools can even create more toxic exposure to our bodies. This is Shamak MD from shamakmd.com. I hope you learned something new today.
Thank you.